Hello and welcome back to Terraria. We are we're doing a few things. I, I really should start working on the NPC homes because fast travel it really is it really does it for me. You know, it's really quite nice. I love the mimic falling down. is actually really fun. I am gonna have to make like some kind of hell bridge for easy movement for when we fight the uh, the wall of flesh. Uh, I am gonna have to collect a bit more hellstone, and that's basically it. I might start working on NPC stuff, but like I don't know how interesting that's gonna be to watch. So my tendency is going to be cut that stuff out a little bit. I do. I, I keep the stone because it's really good for this stage of the game for basically creating some kind of bridge. This is uh, I should have what I really should have done is uh, use one of those builder potions because I'm sure building this is going to be a lot easier. I'm going to go left instead of right um, because I've already been right and I still want to find some more obsidian uh, chests. There's some really decent like magic based items in this game. It's it's kind of a shame to me that they require mana to use. I know that's like you know very much a cake and eat it too situation but like they do really decent damage, and they're some of the f most fun weapons and gear to play with in Terraria. But, like, having to do mana management and, like, build towards that. Magic builds tend to be very squishy, so, like, you just have to be on your game. And, uh, and I'm not. If I do a full series, I do want to fight, like, basically every boss. But that's going to involve certain things like there's a, um, I forget what they're called, but there's things like Star Fury or there's a fairy boss that like basically if you get hit by them at all, you just die. So you have to dodge every single one of their moves. And um, I'm just like, Phew, I don't know. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments. How, how difficult is it really? Is it worth it? And also, like, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe so that more Terraria content comes for me. Terraria uh, series has been a fun little extra hobby for me. Content. I love I love Terraria, and I would love to do it and do more of this. But I also don't mind playing it for myself. Yeah, this uh, magic missile does a ridiculous amount of damage. All right, I'm gonna do like maybe a time lapse um, here because what I'm about to do is gonna be very time consuming and I don't have faith that my commentary will be able to hold your interest while I place block after block, make this hellstone bridge. What do we got? Hell, Hellwing bow, slice of hell cape, and uh, tungsten bullets as if as if we care. We got ourselves a hellbow. Still not sure. I mean, I don't mind doing ammo management. I know I complained earlier about doing mana management and mana actually regenerates. So it's actually easier to deal with. I can make enough ammo that I basically never have to worry about it. I can never do the same for mana. I will eventually have to finick with, with mana, like I do right now, for instance. Like, I just don't have that attack now for a little bit until my mana regenerates. And it's not a long wait period, but I don't know. I just like to work with more dependable forms of damage output. All right, so that's the end of the blocks I have. I think we are in the underground jungle, so we're about two thirds. Yeah, we're we're pretty close, close enough. So um, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give this a go now. Um, and we wanna I wanna make the rest of the hellstone material. So there's a couple things we gotta check off the list first. Maybe I don't want to do the NPC stuff. I mean, it's kind of time consuming. Uh, I like to take advantage of it, but it seems to me that I'll want it more um, in hard mode. 
So maybe I'll just go ahead and, and you know, leave things as is. So we want like one magic weapon and I think the magic missile is good. Fire, flower of fire is also pretty good. Very fast speed. Yeah, fire, fire flower is really good against wall of flesh also. I'm trying to think uh, what else we could possibly use. We could definitely use some potions. I, I really don't have our potion stuff set up very well right now. This is one of the reasons I, I didn't pick hard mode is because it was like, well, hard mode requires, really does require you to do everything. It requires you to, you know, create a proper arena. It requires you to do potion crafting, requires you to therefore do fishing. Not really the, the experience I'm going for right now. And we're we're running basically to the end of the world. Not quite the end of the world. Um, I, I generally make bridges longer this, than this. And in fact, in previous playthroughs of Terraria, I have um, resorted to, uh, you know, using the full length of the world as a as a as a platform for the wall of flesh. What is that obsidian rose? I don't remember that. Reduces damage from touching lava, and it's a material. I should probably not do that, but it's it's really fun. The the rose is actually a lot of fun. It's exclusively good for fighting the wall of flesh, because it does. Although it does a, a absurd amount of damage, um, it doesn't it really hit anything most of the time. But the wall of flesh is an exception, because it's you know impossible to miss basically. We've already used up our mana. It's okay. This is what some fury is going to be good for, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and tank those hits for now. And go back to our flower. We really kind of burn through our mana with that. As long as I'm careful, I should be able to hit the wall directly with Sun Fury. This is working out really well, actually. We're, we're almost done. Wall of Flesh getting kind of fast. There we go. Wall of Flesh has been defeated. And we got ourselves a hard warrior emblem. The ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. We got ourselves a pawn hammer. Pawn hammer is going to be important for releasing um, a lot of the materials into the world. Let's um, head back. I'm, I'm hoping things are still kind of normal, but things are going to get really dicey very quickly, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure things get, like, nasty instantly. As soon as you release- yeah, we've already got mummies. So, mum, mm -hmm. uh, hard mode is already upon us. Kind of want to find out where some of our, our nastier uh, biomes are. I think there's a better, like, gun for getting rid of some of the biomes. In, in previous iterations of Terraria, the biome, like, control has been such a major problem. Because, like, as soon as you release hard mode, you get inundated with not one, but two really nasty biomes. They just become, like, really a problem. And they spread. They, they take over other biomes. Um, one is the corruption, and we actually have corruption on both sides of us, so that's good. That's fun, right? The uh, the corruption is basically going to spread on either side. There's no way to stop it. It used to be um, that sunflowers would stop corruption biome. That's not the case anymore, at least not for like what I, you could call like a super corruption. This, uh, also, unfortunately, um, our super corruption or our corruption is on our doorstep. It's like right at our doorstep. So we have, we've already got like really nasty versions of our corruption. They do a lot of damage. They're really nasty. I don't think we get anything extra for killing them either. The good news is we have a, de a corrupted desert. Corrupted desert is valuable for a very specific reason. Okay, there's an item called the Tao of Pow. We get a, I think we get a fresh background. Not sure if that background is new or not. Um, the other biome that we get inundated is called the Hollow. 
And it's basically the opposite of the corruption. It's, you know, a very pleasant looking, you know, very, very serene biome, but it is not serene, <laughs> but it's, it's awful. It's one of my least favorite biomes. It uh, spawns like really gruesome creatures, unicorns, UFOs that like constantly pester you. I do need to, uh, you know, I don't know why I'm running over here. I was kind of hoping to see wh maybe where the hollow has spawned. I'm not really seeing it, um, which is fine. I don't need to see it. Uh, something we are going to do, what I, I will do, is I'm going to destroy some of the demon altars. I'm not sure if that doesn't release a hollow or something, but it, it releases the next set of, like, material tier. Cobalt, palladium. I don't know why it was using the wrong hammer, since we have to use the pwn hammer. There we go. You've been blessed with cobalt. Mithril. Titanium. Okay, sometimes you get palladium, sometimes you get t titanium. Um, I like to leave one altar, because sometimes you still, you're, you're gonna need to make more uh, demon things. It could just be that as soon as you get it once, you're good. Also, I really wish I would store my gold and make a habit of that. Look how many freaking dudes there are. Oh, we got a firecracker. Your summons will focus struck enemies. Oh, it's a summoning, summon weapon. That's kind of nice. Um, there is an actual material benefit to fighting the hell, um, wall of flesh several times because if you can get all of the emblems, pretty sure you can combine them all into one really good emblem. Uh, let's get rid of the cloud in a bottle. I don't think it's useful to us anymore. I like it. We might come back to it, but we have enough <laughs> stars to make three mana stars. Look at that. What are we at? 200. I think that's the max amount of mana you can have. All right. Well, um, what are we at? I, I did spend quite a lot of time building that hell bridge, so I, I'm not ignorant to the fact that if I end the episode here, then it's actually quite a short episode for you. All the same, I don't know what else there is to do that doesn't involve basically the next phase of uh, of this game, of Terraria. Maybe we go to the dungeon. I know there's new stuff at the dungeon to do. New things to mine. Like, we could check out the under underground. The underground is going to be, like, vastly different. Because there's all kinds of funky new monsters roaming around. Is it, yo, is that some cobalt right there? It is. We got our first little chunk of uh, cobalt. Black, what is that? Black something? Recluse. The spiders have gotten an upgrade. That's not fun, really. We've got some more uh, cobalt though. We've got quite a bit of cobalt already. It might just be that I make a cobalt pickaxe or drill, whatever, you know, whatever I'm feeling up to at the moment uh, so that I can get the next material because you I'm pretty sure you need cobalt in order to get mithril and you know so on and so forth could be wrong about that but either way this is quite a lot of cobalt I don't I, re I don't really see it as being very valuable because cobalt is the equivalent the new the new game equivalent of like copper it's the lowest tier yeah so this is mithril and we do need cobalt to, to mine it um, Terraria is like that. It's like certain things that you, you want that are like super advanced. Um, it's very demanding of you. It's like, well, okay, but you need all the materials. You need one of every single, one of, two of every animal on an arc. I, it's been a while since I've been in the mushroom biome. And now, of course, it's a hard mode version of the mushroom biome. So there's all kinds of new nasties. I think that might be titanium. Oh no, that's cobalt. Nice. Well, we need cobalt, so might as well dig it out. Right now we have like kind of a grace period before um, things become really just not kind. Because like I say, we have two biomes that are currently spreading across our world. We don't really get a say about this. We can't really do much about it. Oh, hey, there's a, a, a dude down there. Let's go, let's go talk to him. He probably has some cool stuff. Purple counterweight. I'm pretty sure that's the one we already got. Yo-yo glove though. 50 gold? Jesus. Gradient though. Gradient is really nice damage. Allows the use of two yo-yos at once. I, I wish I could afford the yo-yo glove. That's a lot of money. We'll buy these this yo-yo though. 
pretty sure two yo like the use of two yo-yos at once means um, when you use your yo-yo, it actually spawns two instead of just the one. Counterweight is basically a third yo-yo. Oh, is that an actual genuine chest? Wow. It's, it's an actual genuine chest. Danger Sense actually kind of working out for us. Wish I could set off that trap um, with my, my staff. I don't know what, what there is left to do here. What is, what is this? Po poison Staff. Shoots a poison fang that pierces multiple enemies. So the cobalt drill costs 15, the pickaxe costs uh, 15. They're both the same. Drill offers less range, but is much faster. So I'll probably just make a drill. I'm pretty sure it does like everything the molten pickaxe does. So you don't really have to like put too much thought into like, oh, what's, you know, which one is, which one's better? Well, they're, they're more or less the same. So we have a drill. Get ready for that sound. Get ready for a lot of that sound. Uh, what I should do is actually reforge a couple of our things. That costs a lot of money. Yeah, we can uh, reset our, our cobalt drill. No point because it's gonna become redundant like almost instantly. Um, but we could re-roll some of our accessories. Kind of don't want to, honestly. Oh, maybe the obsidian shield. Let's do that. Let's do it again. Nope. Plus 3% damage, that's not bad. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. All right. Well, um, I think, I think I'm going to call it. And that means I'm going to call it for basically the series, unless, uh, unless numbers are pretty good. Um, I think that's a fair thing to do. I think it's fair to, uh, you know, kind of assess you know, popularity for certain things before you invest more time in it. And we've, we've had a fair number of episodes and this is a pretty good stopping point. So um, if the numbers are good, I will consider doing the, uh, you know, the, the next bunch of Terraria. I guess after this, I would definitely do NPC houses. Um, and then this would take us all the way to like Moon Lord because that's we're in the I would say like the second half of the game almost. There's there's a lot of game to be done for sure. But, you know, we're in the next chunk. If you do like the series and you want to see more of it, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you've just discovered my channel and want to see more of this. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, maybe. Thanks very much for joining me. Take it easy.